I did not think that we would already have merch for Godzilla Minus One hitting store shelves already, but I am pleasantly incorrect. We can see this nice Godzilla Minus One stylized figure coming to us from Bandai Namco and Ben Presto. You can see he's very stylized, very cute, cutesy little proportions, and the box art is really cool. You can see, obviously, he is from Godzilla Minus One, and I really like that sort of uh, Minus One logo with the Godzilla uh, figure there. It looks really cool. You can see right here, a nice, awesome glamour shot of the figure just looking really cool. I love him. And there again, looks really cool. And here's the other side. Like I just love how stylized, but just also how realistic uh, this one is. But yeah. Also, we got some Japanese writings here. Not sure what it says. The only thing I can really make out is 2023. Cool. I do love it. But with that being said, I'm not going to waste any more of your time gawking on a box. Let's actually look at the figure itself. All right. Here is Godzilla minus one out of the packaging. And he looks like he wants to kill. He looks like he just wants to destroy and kill everything. As he should. I mean, he is freaking Godzilla minus one. Our first dive into an actual evil Godzilla in a while. And I respect the folks at Toho for diving into his villain roots again. And Godzilla himself in the movie is, like, actually scary. Like, I actually felt intimidated for our main cast of characters in that movie every time he was on screen. Like, he felt like an actual threat. He felt big. He felt loud. Every time Godzilla roared, it felt like it was this loud sound that you knew signals your death. Like, this guy is not to be messed with. I feel like this figure captured that. Despite him being very stylized and very cute, he still looks like he could throw you down and kill you within seconds. Um, but I like all the scale detail here on his shoulders. That looks cool. He's got the freaking uh, elbow spikes. That looks fire. He's got his dorsal plates looking really cool. I wish the tail was a little bit longer, though. I remember in the movie he had a much longer tail. I mean, it wasn't as long as, say, Shin Godzilla's tail, but he still had a long tail. I mean, he used it multiple times to just smash buildings and kill people. Um, the face, like the head, look at all the, like, scoots on the head. Very cool. He's got a very kind of cat or dog-like nose. And I wish his mouth was open, revealing his teeth. I feel like they should have had him in this kind of roaring pose, but they just sort of have him standing there looking at you menacingly, which I guess works for this Godzilla as he is supposed to be a villain and he's not a hero like some other Godzillas, but he's still really cool. I love all the texturing on him. Very lizard-like, very reminiscent actually of the original Godzilla who is meant to sort of look like the singed and torn flesh of World War or atom bomb survivors. So that's kind of creepy and I guess is what they pulled from when designing Minus One here. And he just looks cool. I can't say that enough. He looks cool. Here's Minus One next to Godzilla Ultima from the Godzilla Singular Point anime series. This is the Funko Pop. And he looks cool. Like he's in the same sort of line as Funko Pops. He's just slightly bigger, but... He looks cool on any sort of Godzilla or Kaiju display, I'd imagine. He's going to look cool. He's going to look fun. And I do love him. I could sit here and talk about this figure all day because it has all these great and awesome details. Very small details sometimes, but it does have cool details. And I do like that in this particular movie, they made Godzilla's feet more dinosaur-like. Because I noticed MonsterVerse Godzilla has more of these kind of elephant-type feet with, like, the claws on the end. 
But in this movie, he has more dinosaur-like feet and even moves more like a dinosaur in that movie. But let me know what you guys think about this Godzilla minus one figure from Ban Presto and Bandai. With that, do take care, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video.